Former Nickelodeon producer Dan Schneider issues a video apology following the release of Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV. Schneider, who parted ways with the network in 2018, is Nigga, speaking on the, out on the documentary. They said that you said that you did. Well, we posted every Friday. Every Friday. See them corn emojis, and you know why. I'm a jaded Gemini to the day I die. And I'ma talk my sh but I don't play both sides. So nah. Man, we are back talking about Quiet On Set, and it's got real this week. Like, it, it got, got really real. Real, really too real. real. But uh, what's up, y'all? It's it's good, Dan. We got Evil Dan above me. Right. Uh, we don't me mess with I, that, Dan. <laughs> we don't claim him. Don't claim him. Top five right here. Your top five. Um, this guy probably had some of your top five shows, but now probably you're probably ruined. Yeah. This is probably the first... Um, Thing I can genuinely say childhood ruin because the other stuff it's like eh, you know wow your childhood star grew up and they're being an adult whatever no this is crazy I learned what Amanda please dot com is yeah a man to please on some if you see Kami Amanda Tate or uh, yep uh, Penelope, uh, Penelope Tate, Tate and Tate, apparently Pen, Pen, the, the first abbreviation Tate. of that is um how you say a certain word in Spanish and then taint is another place yeah. in English, like the pickle man or whatever the fuck. Then you got the pickle man putting stuff in the glory. Like, and then newsflash, everybody's a sex offender that works there. Like convicted. That's why real I, been, like one dude even like, Oh yeah, bro. I, I know John Wayne. The dude had John oh, Wayne Gacy that's bro. paraphernalia in why, the crib. Why is no one talking about that? That was the scariest part to me. The dude who sent a picture of his junk to one of the little girls via email on that was on the Amanda show in the uh, courtroom uh, segment. He also had some of the boys from all that and they went to his house and he had a freaking Gacy painting. And if you know anything about them serial killers, a lot of them go to artwork so that they can make money to get, you know, fund themselves in prison. He had a legitimate signed to him remember they said to jason that nigga said he was a pen pal what the he was pen palling him and and he was excited worse, to show the kids right and then when somebody was like dog ain't nobody gonna believe this i gotta tell somebody this dude presented it a second time as if like nothing was wrong so that just shows that the type of people that dan snyder was willing to have you know, on set like it's crazy that was just crazy to me. Like, why? Another thing that was crazy was the parents. It was given R. Kelly, um, surviving 100%. R. Kelly. Do you have your passport? Ass bitches, bro. Like, no way. She no over way. here talking about, he sent my daughter a picture of himself um, uh, jerking it. I can't go to the police because they're going to think I'm a bad parent. Nah, it was the one where they were what? like, uh, that one dude was also playing the game with like a nine year old trying to kiss on her and shit. Yeah, bro. Right, nah. So y'all yeah, just let a grown ass it. motherfucker just play the game with your jit? What? Or when they were um doing the uh dares and they had the kids like doing some off stuff and there was only two black kids on set, remember? Yeah, the one that got peanut butter licked Yeah, off and the boy's dogs. mom was not playing. She would always speak up, so then the other people didn't like her because she would always speak up. Like, bro, this is weird. Like, what what is going on? Bro, Dan Snyder, bro. You got some explaining to do, bro. So we're going to look at a few things. For one, um, we're going to look at the Nez the Classifieds cast reaction to what happened. Because y'all know we've already done an episode about this. They have their own podcast. And it is really, um, we really could win without that. Like, they're gross. That's all, like, they're gross. Are you talking about when they were talking about being freaked out or whatever? Like, oh, yeah, we used to be fucking on the set. It's like, bro, weren't y'all like 13, cuz? Like, what the fuck? And that really doesn't help the case that's going on right now that's being presented when it comes to, like, Things not being quite right and things they're they're trying to say everybody now is taking things out of context when it's I feel like, like bruh, in my that's opinion, not what y'all saying. I feel like they were victims of stuff, but their way of coping with it is on some oh, y'all being soft. Like 
we was fucking too. Y'all tripping. Because they did say they had alcohol on set. I read Jeanette McCurdy's book. She said they ate some of the cast um, on there would drink alcohol. Like, it let's, was let's not a good what, environment. Let's hear what Ned's got to say. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With his big, big tooth. <laughs> a little too fat. <laughs> Gotta big get tooth, on your ass, Ned. I can't believe. You know what? It's bad, though, because him going at Drake, I don't mind. But it's like, bro, wrong. This ain't it. This ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it, bro. Right track, wrong train. Yeah, this ain't it. 100%. Like, I get it. Drake need to shut up, but nah, bro. Because there's a lot of people actually hurting from this situation. And here you go. I'm sure he is deep down. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I feel like this is their weird way of coping. Cause... Real deep, deep, deep down. Daniel, we told you never to speak about that. Had to do it. Get back in your hole, Daniel. And give me your holes. Drake said, Drake said, this is wild. Laugh it up. Laugh it up. <clears throat> Give me your holes, really? Bro, I feel like he's laughing. I don't feel like this offended him. I feel like, bro, is laughing. Like, he thinks this is funny, bro. I'm sorry. Like, I... Bro, I can't. I seen him in that courtroom, bro. Drake is not real. That motherfucker is not real, bro. I don't trust him. I don't trust that motherfucker either, bro. I feel like he thinks this is funny. I don't know. So you think that he's just kind of riding the wave? Yeah. Give a fuck for real. I've been seeing a big sympathy train for Drake after this. I could see that. So he's just like, hey, finally somebody's coming at somebody other than me. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. Yes, hundred yep. percent. Yeah, I mean, two two things can be right at the same time. At the same right. time, bro, it is what it is, bro. And a broken clock is right twice a day. But all these niggas, just because the this niggas got so many cases with minors that people think he's innocent because he didn't ha get he wasn't guilty of the most recent one. Right, he got a lesser. So for charge. all y'all sick assholes that think that this dude's great, you need to consider that other case where he had to plead guilty because it was just too overwhelming. Cause he was he was pulling a Charlotte. He was, in, you know, when they plead to a lesser charge and they get endangering minors. Mm -hmm. He's one of them niggas. Yeah. Yeah. It's like we didn't do nothing, but she wasn't safe with me, bruh. <laughs> like, what does <laughs> that mean? And then now he still oh frequents high schools. Right. You still. That's you another still, thing. You're oh, still. You're you know still what involved, else? We be doing whippets in the car. That too. Forgot about that. I forgot. I mean, bro. Honestly, after bruh. all of this, do you even like blame him for? Look, his substance abuse. that's what I'm saying. Honestly. Two things can be right at the same time. Yeah, However, yeah. your wrong is still your wrong. There are people who are permanently damaged from Drake Bell the same way there are people permanently damaged from Brian Peck and Dan Schneider. I thought you were about to say whippets. And whippets. <laughs> and whippets. Oh, my God. So speaking of disappointing ass people, you remember uh, the bagel dude? They keep saying the taco dude. I remember him having bagels on a stick. All them niggas, man. Why does it got to be on a stick? Because that's his shtick. It would always be something on a stick. But it wasn't taco. I remember being bagels. I looked it up. It they He did do tacos, though. But I just remember bagels. He decided he's going to interview Dan and give him, like, a retribution. And bro talking about he's sorry and maybe he went a little too far with the jokes. Um, How about you touching on people, bruh? How about you was in the jacuzzi with little with girls? With Amanda, right. How about you had glory holes with pickles? How about you... <sighs> bro, this nigga made shit look like like people getting bus on and shit, bro. Yeah. This nigga is sick for real, bro. He He's like really not right. Or how about AmandaPlease.com for real? Because I remember being a kid going on there, and there's this one segment in particular I remember when I was younger. And because it's supposed to be like the obsessed fan, right? So the obsessed fan Penelope would take pictures of Amanda and it was like, guess the body part. And I remember feeling uncomfortable as a kid. Like, why do they have Amanda Bynes belly button on here? Sure, it's a belly button. It's not a private part, but I saw a little girl, it bro. still made me feel weird as a kid. Like, why they got this girl belly button? Like, what the fuck? So crude jokes. Nah, bro, you took it so far, like so, so far. And then what in the Ozempic? What's going on? Looking like Barney. 
apologize to anybody that I ever put in that situation. Former Nickelodeon producer Dan Schneider is... I apologize to anybody that I ever put in that situation. Former Nickelodeon producer Dan Schneider issues a video apology following the release of Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV. Schneider, who parted ways with the network in 2018, is Nigga, speaking on the, out on the in documentary. They said that you said that you didn't even do nothing. What you apologizing for, bro? That's what I'm saying. What situation? Yeah, did you put bro. In? What are you, what are you talking for? about, bro? People love apologizing, but not apo right. not saying what they're apologizing for. That's just pretty wild. It's, which recently aired. He doesn't have a ukulele. During a video conversation with iCarly actor Bobby K. Bowman, also be known as yourself, Boogie, right? posted on Schneider's official YouTube account, the ex showrunner says. Watching over the past two nights was very difficult, me facing my past behaviors, um, some of which are embarrassing and that I regret. Like what? And I definitely owe some people a pretty strong apology. For what? Schneider produced some of Nickelodeon's most successful shows, including All That, The Amanda Show, Drake and Josh, and iCarly. What the fuck, dude? Like... I read in Jeanette's book, there was a moment where she was in his office and he offered her liquor. Like, you can't just be like, I owe people an apology. You did illegal activities. Like, this isn't like you were being mean. Yeah, people said you were an asshole. A lot of directors are. But this isn't that. Like, you went far. You went above and beyond. And somebody made a good point. Um, One of the people that was in the actual documentary who the fuck were these shows for? Like, who were these jokes, the inside jokes for? Man, awesome oh, SpongeBob shit. Oh, it was Bart's mom that said that. All, who? Um, the boy, the only black boy. Okay. I know yeah, his mom about. said that. She was like, "Who are these little crew? fetus? Little fetus. Little fetus. That was wild. All right, we'll get to little fetus in a second. Oh but I was gonna say, like, awesome SpongeBob shit. You know how you have jokes for parents? Yeah. The fact that this nigga couldn't just come up like. Oh, bro, you know how shows just sneak in jokes for parents to make it entertaining for everybody? Mm -hmm. That's all it was, bro. You couldn't even say that, bro. And then on top of that, you got, uh, we're counting, we're, we're on episode two. You already on like three, Bruh. four fucking pedos that you employed. And then you already are, we have ex-employees on record saying that, nigga, they had no days off practically dying in that bitch and then Bruh. got replaced by people that had no experience except for apparently being a pedo. There you go. And needed a place to work. And stay, apparently. Right. And then you give them the jobs where they gotta be, like, in the closest proximity to the kids. But, yeah. Right, you gotta shadow them all day. Like, what the fuck? That's what you One element of the special for. focused on his asking crew members to massage Schneider on set. Yes, that and was another thing in the that video he just gets daily massages It was wrong that I ever set. put anybody in that position. It was the wrong thing to do. I'd never do it today. I'm embarrassed that I did it then. The crazy thing and how I know he really is a predator is because he has no um, range of boundaries. If you want to be a director and get a massage, that's fine. Hire a masseuse. Why do you have to have this power imbalance like this dominance of like yeah you work for me and you bring me food you get verbally abused by me you massage me i get to do this to you that to you like what is wrong with you bro nick 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 right nickelodeon headass nickelodeon be like we don't even know him for real yeah that shit's bad the last time we <laughs> talked to him bro that shit real bad that shit was a while ago bro we were on a new management. <laughs> I apologize new to anybody that I ever put in that situation. And even additionally, I apologize to the people who were walking around Video Village or wherever they happened because there were lots of people there who witnessed it who also may have felt uncomfortable. So I owe them an apology as well. Yeah. Oh, so also asked witnesses. that any questionable content or jokes in the show should be cut from vaulted and rerun episodes. Every one of those jokes was written for a kid audience because kids thought they were funny mm -hmm. and only funny. Okay? See? Um, now we have some adults looking back at them 20 years later through their lens and they're looking at them and they're saying, oh, you know, I don't think that's appropriate for, for a kid show. Mm -hmm. And I have no problem with that. If, if that's how anyone feels, let's Nigga, cut those jokes out. Can't he also they says don't that multiple know, network executives like, approved the content and look of his shows and that dozens of adults were on set and never raised concerns. We had executives in LA. We had executives in New York. So two coasts, two coasts okay. of, of okay. approval. Yeah, and, and by the way, approval at every stage, really. Okay. And I'm talking about wardrobe. I'm talking about makeup, sound, sets, dialogue, jokes, everything. And we're also shooting Because you were the golden child, All sorts of adults bro. and caregivers and the set teacher and, and the they families. They already everybody spilled watching. it all out, bro. And if anybody had said anything, 
hey, we don't like that. That's not appropriate. You yeah, there's really nothing you can say. Yeah, episode two kind of spoiled every rebuttal. That you're yeah, bro, there's nothing you can <laughs> say. They already showed the charts that you had all your crew members looking at on a regular basis in fear for their fucking job. Everybody was in fear for their fucking jobs messing with you, bro. Like, you're... Ooh, yeah. They were doing overtime, all that. And people did speak up. Mm-hmm. And people when they did. did, they got fired. <laughs> it would have been cut off. E! News has reached out to Nickelodeon for comment on Dan's interview and the Quiet On Set docuseries and has not yet heard back. Investigation Discovery dropped the trailer for its four-part oh, docuseries that, that. back in February. Per a press release, the series alleged there was, quote, an insidious environment rife with allegations of abuse, sexism, racism, and inappropriate dynamics with its underage stars and crew, and specifically focuses on allegations of a toxic work environment involving Dan Schneider. In the series, former cast and crew members shared their experiences working for the network and Schneider. In the early 90s, Nickelodeon was kid everything, and you better hope that your house had cable. It wasn't there to educate you. We were there to have fun, to get slimed, to be entertained. And this is when Dan Schneider arrives, Nickelodeon's golden boy. He created these the shows that were hugely successful boy. for them. No one had ever really done sketch comedy starring kids for kids. He launched the careers of child actors who became major stars the for 20 years. Boy. Oh, yeah. Charles Ariana Grande. Can we? Can you we? sick yeah, bastard. Ariana Grande you sick is bitch. a victim for real. You need to... Is that Stockholm Syndrome? Yes. Okay, you're not sick in that, that way, then. No, I'm sorry. she's sick in the other way. Yeah, like, you tripping, though. I'm trying bro. to show y'all something. Hold on. Trying to be more sensitive. Except for them. No one had ever really done sketch comedy starring kids for kids. He launched the career. But she's of still over here acting like nothing. Came with major stuff. That's crazy, bro. Why the fuck? Did y'all see that? Maybe I need to slow this down. Child actors who became major star why the fuck y'all saw that why the fuck is he on spike tv why are you on spike tv why do, if you know you know if, if you're old enough and do you remember the rebuttal that i said he literally said earlier yo those jokes were made for kids on any of my older gen z's there y'all know bruh why are you and Jamie Lynn, Lynn Spears, Spears pregnant ass on Spike TV? Bro, let me find out that's Dan that, that Snyder rumor baby. was true. Yeah, there is a rumor back in the day <laughs> let me that find out that's Dan, Dan baby, impregnated dog. Jamie Lynn. That was the rumor. What the fuck, bro? Um, there was another rumor that Dan impregnated Amanda Bynes at 13. Who fucking made these rumors, nigga? Bruh. So this is the thing that I was telling you that you either may remember or you may not remember, I don't remember them from being before. on Twitter. I seen that Where's just Jordan. Um, it's just Jordan. Bro said they canceled his show. He wasn't giving up no ass. That. I had my tab up. But um Amanda Bynes has this Twitter page that she had back in the day. And here it is. It was called Persian 27 LA. Nigga, what? Here, I'm about to show you. And she basically said on this Twitter page, and look, she posts her actual ID on here, so you know it's her. Like her driver's license. Tight shit. Binds. She said, it is me. Persian LA 27. That's her email. All that. And on this account, she said that she did not name drop him, but she said a big name on set got her pregnant at 13 and she had to do what she had to do. And her parents knew about it. R. Kelly. R. Kelly, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's giving R. Kelly like. Yeah, that nigga Dan Schneider, bro. I wouldn't be surprised if he find, gets found um, suicidal. Well, honestly. here she's talking about Usually right when here. niggas that are that big start getting exposed like this. Mr. Give me a blank and I'll give you a show, Schneider. Mr. Suck my blank to get on Nick Schneider. Mr. If she's a fighter, hold her tighter, Schneider is wild. Bruh. Hey, yo, Dan. Dan. That's what I'm saying, Dan, bro. bro. She's been talking about Whoa. this came out in 2017. But if you could drive somebody crazy, they're totally invalid. They said my parents are the ones tweeting on Amanda Bynes on some conservatorship stuff. Free Amanda. My friends know how to reach me. So this is like her little burner, bro. I was just telling somebody everybody's got one that's somebody. Gotta have a little burn. 
With the celebrity burner. Yeah, bro. He's a little bust some shots, toss that motherfucker. And look, here's oh, their man. people account talking about it's not me, y'all. It's not me. Bro, they posted they damn ID. And why the fuck would somebody do all this just to bust shots at Dan Snyder? Exactly. Like that don't even make sense, bro. That's some real like, like uh, it's not me. It's not GTA me, side mission right there. Then bro. who is it? Look. Harvey S Harvey, um, why scene, don't you mean Dan Schneider? No, okay. Hey, yo. I couldn't be financially blanked by both of my parents. Damn. Not parents, my parents never, never cared. cared. I never. believe it, bro. One man in particular took hundreds of photos of my feet. I was only thirteen. And he is the reason why I may never be able to have kids is crazy. Some of, some of the rumors. But Dan. this it gets dark. Damn. Yeah, it gets really dark. Damn. It gets really dark. Not Danny Boy. Not Danny Ten Times. Evil Dan. Evil Dan with Jamie Lynn on Spike TV. With Stripperella. In the Man Show. Meanwhile. It's just Jordan. You ain't getting no ass. He said, bro, you ain't getting no ass for me, boy. Jordan said, just Jordan got canceled. I ain't giving up <laughs> new ass. Man, LOL. Know. That was a good show. I actually like that show. He may but, or may not be a, a a clout demon for this, but. I thought he was a Nepo baby. I thought he knew somebody that knew somebody, and that's how he got on that show. That was the vibes. He looked like Baby Omarion or something. Right. Shit. He looked like he Master P cousin or some <laughs> shit. Like, I'm about to play with you, Say, bro. Uh, Man, I'm wishing Amanda Bynes all the healing. Um, Thank you for the Gucci Mane Twitter rant, though. That was wild. Right. That was <laughs> crazy, bro. And honestly, it aged like fine wine. Seriously. Mm-hmm. Wow, bro. Wow. Well, 13. 13 is sick. Yeah. 13. She was 13. And all those hot tub shows and all that, like. Knowing that you did all that? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. And I used to love that show. Think about it. That show, like, is pretty much. It's If you do YouTube or any type of content, that was kind of like the prototype because that was iCarly's prototype right. you're a young person you have your own show your own production your like own website right your website the Amanda show was that blueprint and it was like so the blueprint to like blogging and Dan Schneider did both all that. he made both yeah bro I know and he made all that like mm-hmm. he said the first like sketch comedy sketch comedy right YouTube kids. shit still yeah so it could have been any. But all that shit is giving exploitation. With, right, and with that being said, it could have been any of us, any of us '90s kids. It could have been Who any of us. Who have parents willing to participate? Right. And not say no. Bruh, y'all be safe. You just gotta man. tell them no. It's like Diddy and all the rest of them niggas. Dan, Diddy, tell them no. 